being a student athlete there, graduating from Grambling State with my bachelor's and my master's, honestly, it's a beautiful moment to just give exposure to HBCUs and then also yes. represent Grambling State in any shape or form. So thank you, and I appreciate you stopping by this morning. Absolutely, thank you for having me. We're excited. Look, it, it's been a great uh, time so far here in Mobile. I'm quite frankly, I've been blown away by all of the things that are going on. We, we met with the Chamber of Commerce yesterday morning, and just to hear all of the great opportunities and how we're able to align uh, students who will be able to come and uh, and and do internships and uh, and seek employment through a number of the uh, the business and corporations here in the, in the Mobile area has really been a, a great and exciting start to our, our visit here. Of course, the ultimate uh, purpose for being here is the football game on right. Saturday, but we, we've been you know, trying to build a lot into it, and, and I tell you, everyone has just been so welcoming, and, and the, the hospitality has just been amazing. So the Port City Classic football game, Alabama State, Grambling State is tomorrow, but things are kicking off this morning. We have yes. the Black Business Expo, which we've been featuring throughout the morning. Uh, at the convention center, you're taking part in uh, one of the panels, right? What will you be discussing this morning? So, and, and as I understand it, uh, Roland Martin will be moderating the panel discussion about the importance of HBCUs. And, and of course, uh, you know, we have in, in the last two or three years really seen, uh, you know, an increase in the amount of visibility and, and focus and conversation around the importance of HBCUs. And, you know, we've always been relevant. We've always been important. But I think now to be able to enjoy the uh, the additional level of uh, you know conversation around uh, what we do and the importance of, uh, of HBCUs I think is, is something that's great and certainly it has impacted Grambling and other HBCUs in a very positive way so we, we certainly welcome the opportunity to tell our story that uh, that has been my uh, you know my thing all along is that we will tell our story we won't uh, permit others to incorrectly tell the story of HBCUs we will we will tell the story and being the Port City Classic today, tomorrow, the whole ultimate HBCU experience, you as president of Grambling State, what does it mean to you to be able to take part in this event? Well, you know, uh, first of all, our, our motto is uh, that we're the place where everybody is somebody, right? And, and so when you think about uh, our student body, we've got students from, all, from 61 of the 64 Louisiana parishes, from 41 of the 50 United States, from 27 countries. So, uh, you know, to, to be here in Mobile or anywhere across the world, quite frankly, uh, feels like home for Grambling. And, you know, we have a number of, uh, of graduates who uh, reside here. Here in, in Mobile, we have current students who are from the Mobile area. So, again, anywhere I go, I just I feel like I'm I'm at home, uh, no no matter where it is, and, and Mobile certainly no exception. Well, President Gallo, I appreciate you again for stopping by, and I know we're in Alabama, but you know who are we rooting for this weekend? Oh, Grambling, <laughs> absolutely, and uh, Miles Crawley, our uh, quarterback, transferred from Alabama State, but his roots mm, are in that. Grambling. Uh, so uh, we we definitely are rooting for the Grambling. And Tigers to get a victory tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you so much, President Gallo, and go GSU, right? Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> thank you. And so great to see you, and congratulations to you and all of your uh, great accomplishments in, uh, in journalism. Uh, you're a great example of a great education from Grambling State University. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>